it's an honor to be racing for Chevrolet. I'm very, very happy um, and glad that they picked us up for Indy. And I'm very much looking forward to the Detroit Grand Prix because it is the home of Chevy and there is a lot of people who are wanting us to do well. I think it's, it's awesome to start to have the Detroit back, the Detroit race. I think it, it, you know, it's important to have Detroit in the IndyCar schedule for IndyCar and for the city. You know, it's a great way to expose the city to the rest of the world. The races are always broadcast all around the world, so that's, that's a good start. And this year with having Chevy back in the series and a strong commitment like they've shown, it's great to be able to race at their home grounds. I've always watched on the on the TV. I've always, you know, felt like uh, Detroit was the the place of, of the cars. I, I've always imagined that when I when I was a kiddo and uh, watching Formula One downtown and also watching the Indy cars racing on the island. So I've uh, I just had a, a lovely thing in my mind going when I when I actually got here. You know, there was a memory of everything that happened there. So for me. It's fantastic to be to be racing here and to to have the pleasure to be racing here. You know, for me, it's it's an special racetrack because it's where I I got my first uh, podium ever on my rookie year uh, in, back in 2000. So it always brings good memories. Uh, every driver always likes the racetracks that you do well at. You know, so it's it's great that we we're back. It's a challenging racetrack because it has asphalt, concrete. It's very bumpy and slippery. So to be good here, you you know. You have to find a good compromise in the in the car setup that allows you to have better grip than the other guys. I am excited to race the track. We we did a little drive by and we saw the track and it looks great. You know, I love doing street courses like that. I think they're so much fun just from the atmosphere of all the people that are there and the it's um it's very unique. You don't really get that on street courses or ovals. So it's everybody and every race has something unique to bring to these races. Formula One and IndyCar are similar in many ways and very different in many ways. And, and they are different in the way they treat the fans. In Formula One, A, it's very expensive to get a ticket. That ticket doesn't take you anywhere. Everything's forbidden. In the US, it's almost forbidden to forbid anything to the fans. They are allowed everywhere. They get very close to us, the teams, the cars. Um, so it's a lot more open and I think it, it's, it's nicer and in every way. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.